Hello all, and welcome to another Sci-Fi Fantasy Saturday, or should I say Cthulhu Saturday, because today I did an introduction to uh, Cthulhu, uh, or at least the Arkham Horror card game, uh, and also did an unboxing of a character for that game. And now I'm doing yet another unboxing or unpackaging of Arkham Horror uh, Mechanations Through Time. This is a scenario pack. Now, as I, I'll put a link to my earlier video of, of dealing with Arkham Horror the card game because as part of that video, I am doing a giveaway. Yes, I'm finally doing a giveaway. I actually have a lot of stuff to give away. Uh, some war games and a bunch of uh, other sci-fi fantasy Saturday stuff and potentially Sanctuary Sunday type stuff, you know, which is generally non-war game stuff. But uh, I've not done a giveaway yet and my girl's been wanting me to do one, so I'm going to do one. And so I'm giving away this uh, pallid mask. So uh, 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 check out this video that I have linked down below, which I talk, kind of do an introduction to Arkham Horror, the card game, or at least my impression of it. Uh, and then I will, uh, there's, if you put a comment to that video, be a subscriber and put a comment to that video, uh, then you will have a chance to get this pallid mask, which is a scenario pack for Ockham Horror. Now, scenario packs are part of a, a cycle or a path. Um, th that scenario is actually uh, goes with uh, the path to uh, Carcosa. But uh, I have an extra one of these, so that's why I'm giving this away. So uh, this is not playable by itself. You're going to need Arkham Horror the card game. You're probably going to need the starting part of this uh, Path to Carcosa. But uh, nonetheless, this might get you a good start for that. And, and you can always part it out for the skills and assets and extra cards that are in there to help deck build if you're so inclined. Uh, so that's a scenario pack, which is part of a cycle. This is a... Um, this is a this is a scenario that's a scenario that's part of a cycle this one here. This is a scenario pack and so this is a standalone. You can play this as part of one of these cycles like in between or as a side path and there's rules for how you deal with that or you can play it uh as a standalone. Just pull out some characters, get some friends and play it as a complete standalone. And so these are uh and they I've got this is my third one of those um, the other ones that I have are, uh, the Labyrinths of Lunacy and Murder at the Accessory, Excelsior Hotel. I really like this one. This one was a little tricky. Uh, uh, this one is, uh, better played as a group. I played it solo. Uh, this is better as a group and it's player is, is better as a mass group. There's a couple of rules on how they, how you get separated and stuff. So it's, but this is, this was a little tricky. Uh, didn't do so well on this one, but this one is really a good old, uh, like, murder mystery. So that that's kind of cool. Um, this one uh, I don't know a whole lot about, but I finally picked it up. And, again, I, I know they're repackaging Arkham Horror and then kind of redoing how they're doing the cycles and stuff. I don't know if they're going to re-release these or if they're these are going to be contained in a separate offering. But, anyway, I have this one, so I thought I would unbox it. Now, the problem with unboxing this is there's, there's a lot of spoiler. These scenario packs are all about, you know kind of you know, not knowing what's going to happen next and encountering new stuff. So this unboxing is going to be, you know, somewhat limited in its effect because I really can't show you a whole lot of this. So, um, you know, this is going to be a short video. But remember, I'm going to talk about, you know, it's you can still win this. So, you know, be a subscriber, put a comment to that other video that I'm going to put a link to. Uh, down below so we can at least read the back right because if that's on the back of the box that means it can't be too much of a spoiler so machinations through time scenario pack there has been a distortion in time something is wrong nobel award-winning scientists and their revolutionary discoveries have vanished this ripple in reality is a loss for humanity and it must be restored in Mechanations Through Time, a unique 78-card scenario for Arkham Horror the card game, investigators travel through the past, present, and future to repair a broken timeline, with the minions of uh, Tantalus hound them relentlessly. Uh, Tindalus. Tindalus. Uh, Hound them relentlessly. Boy, I'm, 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 it's late at night. Uh, the scenario can be played with one to four investigators as a standalone scenario or inserted into a campaign as a side story. With three copies, it can also be played with three to 12 investigators in epic multiplayer mode. That, uh, that, uh, 
the uh, lunacy one that that was one of those you could get multiple player mode and it was pretty i mean that's i think the better way to play that but uh that's not how i did it uh arkham horror card the arkham horror living card game course that is required to play so that's one of these things right here all right so let's see how much we can get into this uh and see how much we can uh do, read without spoiling it so this is just an insert i kind of keep those just so you can tell what was uh what I have here is the uh, book that's going to kind of start you off with what you need to know. Here, it, uh, each of the cards have that expansion symbol, so if you ever get stuff mixed up, you can go back and sort it out to replay it. Um, there's game modes here. There's standalone modes, and then the ne neat thing about Arkham Horror is that you can adjust the difficulty level right by by what tokens you put in your bag here so since i can't show as much of this i'll at least uh talk a little bit about the game uh the uh the key the core of the game is not this uh uh crown royal bag that i use to pull stuff from but is these uh these tokens right here so th this is uh, you, uh, whenever you do a test like a skill test or a check or what have you, you're going to pull from the bag and you're going to look at these numbers and compare that to your skill and then uh, add that or subtract that to your skill and then uh, put it, uh, see what you're trying to accomplish, whether it's a test or whether you're trying to come uh, fight a, a creature or what have you. And uh, if you succeed, well, then you succeed and you get whatever the success roll is. If you lose, well, then you get the, the effects of loss. So this is the same effect. This is the randomizer and the same effect as dice. And what I did is I took these, these are just cardboard punch ass but i grabbed these coin holders and these are really nice you put these in a bag and pull these out i mean this just there's a nice heft and feel to it when you uh went to do that so I, I i like uh doing that but this game you know you can do you can change up uh with any of these different um cycles you can change uh the difficulty and start easy or make it really hard so that adds to some replayability too you beat it on easy mode say well i want to try it a little bit tougher or you want to try a different uh, character so there's even though you might know what's happening because you've been through it uh you can still make it tougher uh based on what characters and what difficulty level you pick and so this is um, this is just talking about the different modes and stuff, and so I don't really can't get into this much because it's probably going to talk about uh, well, this is all the setup and what cards you use and what cards you're going to need to pull from here and the like. So, um, and here's a location for the past. So you know this is a card game. So if you're not familiar with Arkham Horror, the card game. Uh, you're going to be moving around on cards, the board or cards. So uh, this is how the, the, the different locations are set up for the past. This is how the locations are set up for the present. And here's how the locations are set up for the future. And I'm not supposed to read that there. So uh, that's one reason I picked this up is I'm, I'm, I've always had a soft spot for time travel and time travel books and time travel movies. Um, and time travel role playing games and even time travel board games. And so I, I thought, you know, time travel sounds like an interesting idea to to uh, deal with in Arkham Horror. So let's get out these cards here. So I don't know how much, again, I can show of this stuff because um, because it might spoil it. Right. But uh, as with any of these different scenarios, you're going to have. Um, some cards that kind of drive the scenario forward. So that is, that are, that, that be, these are these cards here. So this is your machination. This is your overall, uh, key that's going to tell you what some of these tokens that you've already, uh, seated in that, uh, bag, what they mean when you pull that out, right? Because they might, if it's not, if it's a number, it's going to be pretty self-explanatory, but if it's one of these different symbols, it might mean different things depending on what uh, scenario you're playing. And this is the easy uh, standard, and then you have uh, hard and expert. So it, you can ratchet it up even with the, with the number, with the kind of symbols or how the symbols read. These are the story or chapter cards that kind of, or uh, what do they call them here, agendas, you kind of move this forward. This is this is the narrative, and you have to accomplish something. And there's like a, a doom clock going on that's going to kind of move that forward. Here's some of the locations. Oh, this is a uh, that looks like an interesting location here. So you're going to have locations, and that's where you're going to have to move, move through and around and unlock and uncover and reveal um, throughout. And so there are several different locations. Again, I don't want to spoil much. You're going to have different people that you interact with and meet. And then there's going to be, here's some more locations and more people. 
and there's probably going to be some stuff that you encounter and fight through and let's take them they'll probably be in this deck here and again i don't want to i'm doing this kind of hurriedly because again you don't i don't want to spoil it because i haven't played it yet but i don't want to spoil it for any of you either so this is something you might run into um and it has its own characteristics that you have to encounter plus it has its own special abilities uh and this is an enemy and then it might have victory points as that that might be part of the uh how you assess your uh how you did on the scenario uh there's certain things that certain things you defeat or certain locations you uncover or certain items you get that might give you victory points so and there's several of these, and these are going to be tied to the different stages of the uh, of the of the um, of the scenario here. So, again, can't go into too much here, but there's I like the art; it looks pretty cool. You know, I like I like the looks of this stuff here. So, anyway, again, can't go into too much here because that would spoil it. But that is uh, Arkham Horror: Mechanations Through Time. Uh, more of an introduction. As I said, there's there's uh, at least maybe four or five, I don't know, maybe more of the original Arkham Horror of these little side adventures. Uh, but they're they're pretty interesting. This is 78 cards. It's got all new locations, all new uh, uh, stuff that you interact with. So uh, interesting little story. And so if you don't want to take the time of slogging through a whole cycle, which is several scenarios back to back, you can, you know, get one of these side adventures, just you know, spend an evening kind of going through it and enjoying it with uh, friends or, or solo. Uh, again, these are sometimes really hard to solo. Anyway, that's what I have for you today. And again, don't forget to go back to the uh, original video, uh, the introduction to Arkham Horror, uh, and uh, go to that video, be a subscriber, leave a comment, and you'll have a chance at the Pallid Mask. That's what I have for you today on Sci-Fi Fantasy Saturday. Thank you so much for stopping by. Uh, and you can leave comments on this one, too. I, I don't mind. Feel free to leave comments on this one. Uh, anyway, just keep it civil. Take care. Thanks for watching.